Miss Christy Gustafson. Say that fast three times. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Christy Smith is here. She's already been up teaching an exercise class at like 545 this morning, so she she's a busy woman. She is the executive director of the Community Foundation. Miss Christy, welcome to Keel. Thank you. Where do we begin? Well, okay, so the, the kind of the, the news conference yesterday that announced sort of a new plan for, for Cyport and its organization and... How is Community Foundation involved in that? What can you tell us? Sure. So um, the current board of Cyport and the current entity that runs what we all know as a community as Cyport has decided that um, it no longer is going to manage Cyport. <clears throat> and so... Pardon me, they've decided or they were told they were no longer going to? No, it was a decision by that board. Okay. And so, um, but not a decision made lightly, obviously. So um, many months ago, um, the board members came to us and started discussing some issues that they were having. And the Community Foundation, along with some other uh, partners, um, worked f for a, a bit to come up with some possible solutions. And what's going to happen is the Community Foundation, along with a number of other funders, um, are going to fund the beginning of a new Nonprofit. So, pardon me, by, excuse me just a second. When you say solutions, you mean how do we reopen, who's going to pay for it, and how's it all going to work out, right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> how much money are we talking about, Christy, from A, from the Community Foundation, and then from the other entities? Well, I'll just say right now, because um, we have the, the other funders right now are going to remain anonymous, but I think over the course of this, over the next few weeks, that most of them will probably. Um, uh, go ahead and advise who they are, but let's just say the funding is significant. Um, is it is a city building? So this, the building is owned by the city. Well, and, how can they remain anonymous if and, they're and all the well? Well, let me explain the structure. The building is owned by the city, and the exhibits are all owned by the city. Essentially, everything in the building is owned by the city. What the entity was doing was managing what we know as the Children's Science Center. So the new mm -hmm. entity would be entering into a management contract with the city okay. to manage that science facility. So the city gives the 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 management group the use of the building. Did, and, did the city the, have the imprimatur over the plan? I mean, did they have the final say? The group that wants to take it over and it's make called it Red River STEM, yeah. shiny and new. Did they have to present a plan to the city and say, "Here's what we're going to do. Here's what it's going to Here's what it's going to cost. Here's the new exhibits, etc." Well, we um, have gone and presented um, to the mayor, and then we are, we'll be presenting to city council. Um, at the uh, n next two city council meetings. So I, you have to have two readings to enter into what they call a cooperative endeavor agreement, which is the management agreement. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll be read for the first time um, at next Tuesday's I, I, city I council meeting. I assume you've seen the plan. It's a pretty good plan, and you then, think? Well, there's, the, the, there's no business plan per se. What it, is, the, what it is we're working on now with the city is the agreement to manage. So it's not the... Um, the, the nuts and bolts of um, this is how much we'll charge for tickets, this is how much we'll do this. It's the actual management agreement with the city that says we this entity agrees to manage this facility for this purpose for X amount of time, and the city will provide this, and this group will provide this. Let me ask any, you, Christy, Christy Gustafson with Community Foundation. Um, Cyport has a lot of debt. They That's have con they have contracts with local businesses for their copy machine, for their elevator, you know, for all that stuff. Um, Who's paying that debt? Who takes over that debt? Um, the liabilities of the old uh, Cyport entity will still be the liabilities of the old Cyport entity. So, um, well, who, who's those guys? So the old the the there's currently no executive director, but um, it's the it's the charge of the um, current board and the current chair of that board. So those people on that board are directly personally responsible for no, probably no, no, no. not no no they're not insurance. they're not personally liable for it they're well that <laughs> they're not no but the old entity is responsible for those so debts. so a bankruptcy filing is most likely I mean would you would you be surprised if that happened I, I I would be surprised if they did file for bankruptcy because they don't I don't think they own any assets so. It, I don't know if there would be a point to doing that or not, but that's their decision, the former okay. board's decision. That's but not people something who, I'm involved in. People today who are owed money by Cyport Pardon today. Me. Let, let me phrase it this way. Who gets sued? I, 
I don't I don't know that that's that's an old sideport issue and I'm not involved in gotcha. that. Okay. So I really can't I can't give you all a whole lot of information. What about do it. you envision? Red River STEM wants to f- focus on math and science. What do you envision sideport? I go back to sideport's beginning, mm-hmm. and um, this sounds like it's going to be targeted to a little bit older demographic ra- rather than the toddlers. Well, I think the I think the the thought process is, and of course, this is going to be ultimately the decision of a new board and a new executive director. But that the support facility would be um, um, honoring the original mission of of Sideport as a science facility for children. Now, whether or not they're going to try to target older demographics or um, expand um, things in some ways, um, I'm, 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 I don't know. I couldn't say for sure because it's not up to me. It's up to the new director and the new board of directors. And current memberships, people that hold, currently hold memberships, are they SOL? No, um, <laughs> no. They're from for everybody involved has said from day one. If there are memberships, then they're going to be honored. Uh, and then if there's a period of time um, that the facility isn't open, um, you know, they would get that. That wouldn't count against their. If they have a year membership, they're going to mm-hmm. get a full year benefit out of the membership. We're so. talking to Christy Gustafson with the Community Foundation Executive Director. Let me, you guys at the Community Foundation, dot your I's, cross your T's like no other organization in town. So can you give me an idea of a timetable when you guys have put down on paper, we, you know, if we're going to spend our money, because Community Foundation is a, holds people accountable. If we're going to spend our money, we want to make sure you're doing what we've told you we want you to do. So when do you hope and when have you instructed them that you want to see those doors back open to children? Well, we haven't given a specific date instruction, but I'll tell you two things. One, um, the the new entity um, will have to apply for tax-exempt status from the IRS, and that takes several months often. And during that period of time, the Community Foundation is going to act as the fiscal sponsor for that um, agency. So that, that gives you two things. It allows people to make donations um, and get um, their tax deduction for their, their donations. And it also allows us to um, be essentially their partner and their overseer um, in all things financial. So we will be reviewing finances with them on a weekly and monthly basis until they've achieved their tax exempt status from the IRS and we'll probably continue to do it just to be helpful um, going forward and that my last question I know you've got a busy day ahead um, a lot of people are skeptical the finances of Cyport we have had problems in the past audits have been you know scandalous mm-hmm. is, is not too harsh a word can you assure us today that with the community foundation kind of overseeing that we won't be talking about sideport mi- money mismanagement in the future. <laughs> there, there are no one hundred percent guarantees, but obviously that is we we intend for the entity to be set up such that it would be extremely, extremely difficult for mismanagement to happen, and we plan to be there. Um, and it's really important for to my board for us to be there for a while to help uh, sideport get its um, back up off the ground.